is Mandela and currently it's enjoying a morning sunbath and morning breakfast too. Okay, we are at a place called Lusala, Viga County and between me and Boni it's Mandela, our precious bull. Okay, this is Mandela and so far we've at least participated in almost 15 games, lost two games, lost to the famous NASA and to a bull known as Nara Bat. Generally we rated 98% of the games we've won. Okay, so far since COVID came into being, we've really had a, a big trouble. The bulls have become so fierce in that they even don't want to eat, they, they, their mentality is just that they want to fight. So, since COVID came, we've really had, we as bull fighters, we've really had a big problem with the bulls. So the bulls we have, sometimes they become fierce in that we have to take them kilometers away to walk and then come back. They, they come back exhausted in that we reduce the fierceness of the bull. But if you don't do so, the bulls become so fierce and they may co cause havoc. So, in case it's here, you have to be around in that in case it becomes so fierce, there are people who can control it. Okay. okay, for a champion bull like Mandela, we train it from a tender age. So when it's almost a year and a half, he starts exposing it to the bullfights. And by the time it grows, grows into a bigger bull, you find that it's already used to the game. When, when it meets another bull, it knows, it, it knows that here we have to fight. So, and for instance, there are some people who claim that for the bulls to become fierce, we feel them on some stuffs like bang, but generally I want to tell the public, we don't do such to, we don't give drugs to bulls. If we give this bull, for instance, bang, it will become fierce, even it can kill me myself. But you see, we don't do that. It, its mentality knows that my work is to fight. So from a tender age, we train it, we train it, step by step, step by step. As time goes by, it's used to. It, it knows that I have to fight, and that's my role here. Okay, for Mandela, we feed it generally on natural food, like as now we can see it's feeding on napier grass. But we also have some supplements that we feed it on. Maybe we give it supplements like ni, the pig finishers in that it. It brings the body and it becomes so fat like this. And to me, generally, this is like a child to me. So each and every week, it has to be checked by a vet. We, we assess it every week. Every week, a vet must see it, assess it, to see whether it's in a good condition or not. So we have, after, for instance, like three months, you can deworm it, give it some multi multivitamins, and it just feeds on as normally but if you don't deworm it as in the feeding rate goes down and per day this bull can cost can feed up to 1500 1500 shillings a day like for instance this napier for today is worth 500 shillings and it's just by breakfast we've not it hasn't eaten lunch supper dinner overnight it has to feed so we spend almost 1500 a day and for mandela's price tag generally you want to buy mandela 350,000 is the price tag for Mandela.